hey, maybe other things will go wrong. Maybe things might go terribly wrong for Honoris here. Let's get into the game and see if Team Secret is going to perform or if Honoris is going to throw stuff right back at their face. Happy to see my peanut-sized brain at least can do something right as we will see this second map to come in. Of course, first a knife to decide who will start on what side. Usually we do see teams still prefer that CT side on pretty much every map. So let's see who will be the favorable stabbing kings so far last time around. Honoris was quite easily able to win it, but this time around in a 3v1, stabbing down someone behind the dumpster. I think uh, Team Shikuru was quite easily able to do it. And well, so far they do seem to indeed go for that CT side. Looking at this now, are you trying to change your opinion about this score or are you saying, well, Honoris will still win in the end? I still believe in Honoris. I'm going to stick with them. I believe in the lads. I, I believe that they, uh, that they can do this, that they have the skill that they need. And that Dust2 is just going to be their map, to be quite honest. And that's going to be, you know, their chance to shine. And uh, they're going to grab that chance with both hands. All right, let's see the pistol to come in. Secret starting on their CT side, of course, after winning that knife round. And they will bring those USPs a little bit of utility. And of course, most likely a defuse kit right here on towards Percy. SMF yet to buy, hoping he won't forget as well. I think he did. Or it's a tactical decision. I'm hoping it's a tactical decision. So otherwise, I'll be a little bit worried for their financial oh, no. management as Anarchist is standing by. Flashbang's coming in. Counter flash as well from the side of Secret. Taps coming in, but where is the kill? Synopsy will get the first on towards Gretcha. The follow up from Anarchist on towards Sabi as well. They will lose Percy. Synopsy is still standing by. However, he will get another, but eventually he will fall in pit. Three on two situation. Damage being dealt towards Neo, who still actually has some utility. And they're trying to go maybe for that A take. Of course, there's also a chance of them succeeding towards B. No player standing there at this moment in time. One is actually around that mid area, trying to spot out a cross, but of course you can sneak underneath that. As the player has been spotted, there was the bomb as well from Neo. Moving back and now we'll probably sneak underneath. He's trying to fight this with a Glock. I'm not really sure what the intention is because even without armor, you're going to be hit quite heavily. And now the bomb will go towards that A side. Stomp has moved up, has upgraded to that USB. And with his aim, it's actually doable to get some entry frags in. But the problem is he's been taken out by Red Faction Neo. Now all on his lonesome, trying to line up his molly as well. Well, at least it's something he'll throw out. But he's now trying to go back towards B. 35 seconds. Previously, we saw actually Honoris have some problems with their time management. But at least he's now moving across. And, well, I think there will be players waiting for him, getting the frag and getting that pistol in as well. I don't really uh, yeah, expect him to win this engagement. It would be a 3v1, very tough, and I believe it's going to be one clean shot from SMF. Maybe not so clean, but the attempt eventually coming there. Neo now pushing onto the site. I thought for a moment he was just going to stick the, stick the plant and just try and get that financial bonus anyway, but in the end, it's Team Secret that grabbed the round as the last Honoris player goes down. Team Secret, of course, maybe off to a good start now, but a good start might just not be everything. We've seen it in the past. It takes time. You have to really build up a serious, a considerable advantage to actually uh, really, really just decisively win a map. Otherwise, so far, well, we've seen it in the past. It'll just go to overtime. Well, so far, 100% of the pistol rounds in this series has gone towards Secret. And, well, whenever there was a force officer from Honoris, they didn't manage to win it either. This time, again, an eco, as, of course, there was no bomb plant. And Taz will be tagged up, moving through the smoke with his Glock towards the blue dumpster. Shots to be fired, so far not hitting. And Taz will now be spotted out, yet to be damaged additionally. As there will also be pressure coming down from short. At least they cleared out the player here, and then they will have to rotate back towards the side. Anarchist getting a good tag on towards Grudge. I will get another tag on towards Sabi. Eventually the first frag, now oh, a nade to come in as well. There's going to be Stomp, the only player alive. Has gotten one frag, has gotten a decent tag on towards Anarchist as well. But the problem is it will remain a 4v0 as the round goes to Secret. And once more they follow up as well. Meaning that we now see Honoris on their buy round. But still behind time and time again. And Honoris, of course, have to just, well, I say... Uh Suck it up almost is uh, perhaps the right way to say it. They just have to deal with that, well, 
not ideal financial, and eventually then you go into your third round and you can actually buy, and you can try and make something out of it. But, of course, the question still remains, are they going to be able to do that? It is off to a good start, and Arcus that was tagged, I believe, on his crossover there. And uh, let's see now if they can turn something like that into an advantage for them. Amazing thing is, of course, that Anarkas has that scout, so that might actually mean that Honoris is now in an even more favorable position. Bonus round for the CT side. Two MP9s, two Famasas. No real prime weapons to be picked up, and if they still manage to win this, I think Honoris will be, well, I think mentally a little bit shook. As Neo now goes for a fight for a player in tunnel, that's the sole player actually at the B side, getting a little bit of intel. And we also see some great nades coming out. Taz and Grutcha both going low. So the damage being dealt by Secret earlier on is now working through as Honoris is trying to execute towards a mid to B. Sit up the first track. Taz will actually try to go for the flank free via a short drop. He will go down. As now Neo and Sami both get a kill. It's going to be B control in favor of Honoris. But the AWP not hurting actually any player. It's going to be stomped. No scoping on towards Red Faction. And that means that even though he was on a tag, hell, still manages to get the kill. Now will be wall banked a little bit with the AK from Anarchist. And he moves by. Stomp now trying to fight on towards SMF. SMF, of course, once more winning that fight, going for an AK himself. Flashbang to come in. Where is this retake going? They have a defuse kit bow, but there will be a flank from that mid area. Same, he only on his lonesome. Now they shoot stick that defuse. For the moment that SMF will go down, Neo moves in, will be pre fired, but still gets a kill. It was a great risk with 14 HP left on his uh, health bar. Still winning the round, but it could have actually and should have actually been around for the CT side. Definitely, however, problem being, of course, even if, if Honoris now wins this round, look at their economy. They don't have that much money left, honestly. They, they are obviously going to buy, but the outlook is quite grim, of course. They lost almost the entire team there as the uh, bomb exploded. Ooh, scout as well. Okay. Well, let's see if that works out for them, eh? It's still uh, an interesting decision at times, but it is a scout in the hands of Stomp. Well, the first frag is in for Taz, being helped by a team flash from SMF, taking down one of those CT players. Perfection. Scared as that smoke will soon dissipate, but before that happens, Grusha gets the frag, and of course, it's Stomp also with the follow up. SMF with the Famous will be tagged out, and it's going to be an easy, quick, and decisive round in favor of Norris. Looking for a possible AWP, but that won't be there, so an upgrade to an M4 is the only thing they really want to do. But look at now a little bit shook up Team Secret going for an eco. Their economy now ruined by Honoris. Whereas I would dare to say they should have won and had a 3 to 0 earlier on. I think that's the best way um, to put it so far. But oh well, it's the equalizer that they've achieved anyhow. And who knows, right? Maybe this is the start of something great for Honoris. Maybe this is the start of their own streak now. And are they going to keep this up? Are they going to build up an advantage? Really show that the T side is their side. That that's the side that they uh, are going to, well, really, really just own completely. And with that show team secret who's boss, so to speak. It works out well, at least in the start. Stomp can frag Percy. And that's one player less for team secret. Deagle being recovered by one of his teammates as, of course, they have two in their hands. 157 from Red Affection now being tapped up multiple times through the door. That's going to be that five on four. Quite easily this should be winnable by Honoris, but well, we've seen team choke against some pistols every now and then. With those deagles, it might actually be a very scary time. Flashbangs coming in, first frag for Taz. A second as well, but that will be Sammy. Just taking it out of his hands. The SMF to use me dealing a teeny tiny bit of damage. The last player also falling, meaning we now have the lead in favor of the T side. Actually Honoris coming back. And, of course, looking at the economy from Team Secret, they might actually go for another Eco. That was actually quite interesting to me. They spent a little bit too much. Yeah, they. That was, that's kind of a bad call on there. And Well, no, I think they're just saying we need those AWPs, or at least no, one. No, no, I don't mean a bad working. call right now. I mean in the previous round. That their financial now isn't as good that they... Uh, well, if they would have saved the previous round, they wouldn't have had an AWP. So I, they're saving to have one in the next round. Yeah. And, well, that's why they invested a little bit for those Deagles to possibly put some pressure on towards the Norris. 
And, well, now the problem is the Norris will get some financial benefit of their own. Eagles still in favor sometimes for Team Secret. Opening kill coming in on towards Sami. As it will be a 5-2-4. All these to come into on towards Shore. There will be a player right at the top. It's going to be one kill in return for Team Secret. But they lose two more of their members. It's now a 3-2-2 in favor of the Polish side. Biding their time. Trying to find out where those last two are remaining. As there will be a peek from Marrakesh. It will be an easy 1v3. You see Red Affection looking at the ground in shame, knowing this round has really slipped through their fingers. Yes, and let's see if uh, this is going to continue for Anoris. It's very likely now they can keep it up, they can start building out their reserves. Team Secret will have a buy on the next one though, and if that next round goes their way, then it can be a little bit of a turnaround again. And with that, the round's a bit going to and fro, but eventually one team having to grab the upper hand. It's all going to come down to how well they play it out. This round is a bit of a given. Rada Faction not standing much of a chance anymore. And now we'll have to see, though, if Rada Faction can at least make the best out of it. Maybe coming out of tunnels he could recover a weapon here, but I'm not sure if there's anything left for him to pick up. You would have expected the Norris to at least throw away those weapons or at least bring them to a defendable position. Das is also holding down that lower tunnel area. So far, so good for Honoris coming back after losing the first two rounds. And as Red Affection will now be spotted out and will be tagged up. It is the round definitely in favor of the T side. And no weapon to be gained by the Norwegian player. It's scary, but Team Secret can now buy in. And this is what they were at least building towards in the previous two rounds. So it isn't that weird that they are now behind after Honoris equalized the score. This is all to play for. If they lose this round, they will be once more in a very, very bad position. There is a chance that the Norris will walk away with his first T side. Lovely default knife there, by the way. It's beautiful. I also I also don't have any knife skins, so it feels, I feel, yeah, I Neither know. Neither do I, but don't worry. The stats now uh, being set up as there will be a Molly coming close. But of course, Stomp has gotten that opening kill already. They're pushing on towards the A side with great force, but Enerka standing by, getting one frag, has to have some support on towards Long, and they will. Another frag coming in, he will be spotted out by Sami, moving up, and that is just sloppy. I'm not sure why he was open for that angle, especially because they also had long control. Luckily, the Red Affection will bring it back, the bomb dropped, and Stomp in a 1v3. This is something we've seen many of times, and unfortunately for the side of Norris, the outcome wasn't always as favorable for them. And, well, things can't always go go your way, I'd say. And Sometimes you've got to go your own way. Yes, that as well. But in this case, I, I, d I wouldn't advise going your own way in CS, to be honest. You have to go as a team. Can't can't try and be a solo player. Can't, can't think like, oh, I'm going to be the clutch king here. That's not how it works. You should play as a, a nice, cohesive whole. So, oh, just a little bit of peeking. But, uh, well, Stomp is just already falling back. He doesn't care about this round anymore. Just checking if he can possibly get an exit frag of a player from Team Secret sleeping in the tunnels. And, well, it seems not to be the case, holding an angle most likely soon towards that mid area. But Team Secret, of course, also knowing that they've invested everything they have in towards this round and they shouldn't try to risk it. If they do lose a player, it's going to hurt them. And that will really mean that in the next round they will have a worse buy. Whereas Honoris, of course, had a great streak and... They won't be too shabby and won't have too bad of an economy going for themselves. I think that they can make it work indeed. It's all going to be kind of based around Stomp's AWP as well, but the hope is that they can then have those rifles in their hands and with that, try to open up a site decently well enough. But this is actually not that bad at all. They had plenty of reserves, so that is completely fine. It's Team Secret though that they're going to have to continue and they're going to have to try and even it out now. They carried those three rifles or three weapons to the next round, so that is definitely going to be in their favor. But they face a fully equipped Honoris now. And the question I ask is, are they going to be able to handle that? Do they know how to handle that? Ooh, but it Anarkes. does start off well. And Narkes gets a lovely frag on Stomp. And with that, perhaps, makes the opening that Team Secret needed to get to the fourth round, you would say. Although, in the meantime, Sami gets the frag on Radifaction. Well, that's just red affection even. That's just a shame. 
It's going to be a molly then Grudge that pushes through. Same, he also very low. Grudge and Curling close. Will be taken down. Pressure on towards Smith from Percy. Gets another frag on towards Neo. The two players remaining on the side. Off and will try to push through that tunnel, but the problem is one dies and the other will fall soon. Four players alive, four rounds in. And a 4 to 4 score line. As it's seemingly Team Secret after their real first full buy. As, of course, we haven't seen one before that do really well. And are now actually on that comeback, possibly gaining the lead. As Honoris is uh, struggling after eventually facing the AWP of Anarkes. Understandably so, though. Anarkes being quite the frightening player when he has an AWP in his hands. Well, we do see Stomp trying to go dress once more, will be naded out, and he will survive with only 8 HP. That's a map out of the equation. A follow-up nade would have been nice because that would have really resulted in towards a kill, at least a trade. But this means that Honoris has a chance because, well, Stomp is still alive, he has a AWP. It's still a very easy weapon to get another kill with, despite being on low HP, and he almost had one. And the player peeking around mid. Samey now trying to contest as well as Synopsy is now playing close right here. And the smoke will come down. Usually you see a wall bang and ooh, almost one hitting from the AWP of Anarkas. But look at this position. It's going to be an A short play from Anora, something we saw before. That time around Anarkas was at guard with the AWP. Now Percy with one frag will be traded out. At least a good attempt made. At least some good damage dealt. But now it's still Anarkas right here. Playing on this side. Bomb still dropped around that short area. However, they need to recover it if they do want to go for some plays. There will be a mid to B, but it's going to be Synopsy with one frag before being traded out. Now Taz in that CT area could either flank an Arcas or move towards that B side. And, well, on either side there is one player, but the time is running out. 30 seconds. Now a little bit of an aggressive play from Anarchist moving in. We'll actually get Taz wow. as well. But now the push is on the reward short. Bomb moving through. Stomp, of course, being low, but still also on the oh, short nice area. Try. We'll throw a flashbang. And Neo, he's trying to go for a plan. Anarchist not expected players who've already moved for too, too far. It's going to be a frag to come in. Neo falling as well to Red Effect. And that's a clean round from Team Secret. And they did really well in that retake. However, it was rather scary. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say a clean round per se, but a clean ending, you know? Yeah. If you lose three players, I think it's still a, a serious dent in your economy. Of course, in Team Secret's case, they can handle this now. This is completely and entirely manageable. Not the end of the world for them. It's going to be Honoris that have a, uh, a far more considerable struggle with getting the right weaponry, the right equipment with limited funds. That kill from Anarkas was just so clean. Taz should have had it. But we've seen that before, also an overpass, struggling against those hoppers on close range, which you should usually win. But now usually. we saw a tactical timeout to come in from the side of an always. They are now behind something which, well, they didn't really expect at this time in towards the match. Their economy, not too great. At least they got that bomb plant in to have a little bit more money go their way. But still, buy-wise, it wouldn't be too great. So pistol armor would seem likely, possibly then a scout to be dropped for Stomp, because then at least you can take out the AWP player if he does go aggressive on towards mid. And I think that might be one of the best tactics that they can apply, actually. Take the AWP player out and immediately get rid of the massive damage cannon right there on the mid area and try and grab some mid control, even. Well, we're binding our time. Still the AK to come in for Grecha. And will there be a force around it, or is it just going to be an equalizer of their economy? Of course, he has now spent a little bit just to be on par with the team. A bomb plant would be nice, and while well, their loss bonus will be at max in the next round as well, so that would really try to help them. So far, Secret coming back strong, still staying on that single AWP, whereas on overpass, they even tried to run free. So that's a little bit interesting to see as Norris wanted to go towards long, but there's a molly in the way. There will be a nade coming in as well. Gretchen moving away in time, then there's another incendiary, and we will wait. Biding our time, Norris is standing by, but Synopsy not taking control with the smoke as well, being spotted out and has to move back, but 
Will he still be trying to go for it? It would be risky. He's now also pretty low on this ammo. It's going to be bursting with the first strike. Flashbang to kill in Some damage to be dealt, but they can't fall back in time. It's safety with a frag, and luckily Anarchist is there. Another frame from Synapse. will get a kill. He's now all out of ammo. Has to fall back and rely on either the AK or that USB as Anarchist gets another one. Nice. Synapse with the last one in the wall. Bang on towards Taz. A 6 to 4 score line. And Honoris is struggling. Trying to go for that A push, but well, if it doesn't work once, they still wait. They want to go for it again. They still have to wait because of the utility that they lose player by player by player. Of course, Team Secret was able to chime in that AWP as well, and with some favorable trades going their way, it seems to be an easy round. Yeah, especially thanks to, in part, that hold by, um, well, Synopsy there. He made sure that they couldn't get through long and with that, they did not stand much of a chance. It's the classic uh, deal of really just making sure that your team isn't even, or well, that your enemy team isn't even getting a chance to make it past, well, a critical point like Long Doors, or anything of the sort. Neo dropping the smoke, of course, once more to go towards short, possibly. And indeed, he will with the rest of his team. And I guess tried to fight Stomp early on, but it didn't really turn into any damage being dealt. Neo, of course, once more trying to contest this tunnels area. But then will slowly maybe go towards his team. The problem is, the moment they start pushing through tunnels, there will be a big flank waiting for Norris. But so far, Norris might actually fake this. Go back towards the B side. They're moving up towards top mid. Anarka is still on towards the side. Neo now moving in a little bit closer, but are they going for another long take? There's only one player standing by, so it would be doable. As, of course, Anarka is on that side, but more looking towards the A short area. There's only one player in pit, Sami. Most likely the player for an entry frag. And the timing once more great with those incendiaries. Delaying once more, again and again, as Neo now goes low, but there is no support on towards SMF as Anarkas now goes down. One frag in favor of him. There will be a good trade coming down from the side of Team Secret. A four on three situation. Plans soon to come, at least if they can cross, but it's going to be Neo falling. Synapse already flanking through shore. Brings it back to a three on three. The bomb will be thrown over towards Taz, who's already close to side, but it's going to be pressured from short. Synapse once more with a kill, and look at the time. The time has run out. The round is once more in favor of Team Secret. And if the time runs out and they still get a kill, it will be disastrous for Norris. It's going to be Sami to stay alive. But once more, a round for the CT side. Three players surviving. And, well, I'm a little bit sad for the Polish fans because so far, it seems like they're out of luck. Well, there isn't really much chance that they stand. That was a really good site holder. Pretty interesting a long take. The, the idea was there, I think, but in practice it just didn't work out. I believe that's a, a bit of a problem for Team, well, Anoris actually, that they, they might try stuff, they might have an idea, they might have a thought, but at the end, you know, it isn't there, the follow-up isn't there. Well, we do see Tech Knight coming in. There will be some good damage. It will be Gretsch over the first frag, Red Affection, and of course his team will get okay. some kills. And Red Affection actually with a triple as well. It's going to be Neo and Stomp in a 1, or a 2v4 rather, excuse me, as Red Affection will be tagged up. I'm not really sure why he decides to cross like that, because there aren't any mollies to contest him. At least some damage done by the side of Honoris, but they lose yet another player, and the bomb will be dropped in pit. Stomp has to either try to recover it, or hope for an aggressive push from Team Secret, and so far in this route we've seen that happen a few times. So I wouldn't be too surprised if they do lose another player. But Stomp will eventually be taken down by a long-range shot of, of course, that AWP, A24, and Team Secret gaining more and more momentum. Rounds being built up more and more, the advantage growing bigger and bigger, and momentum is indeed also a good way to put it, I think. Momentum is that which Team Secret needs now to finish off this first half with a respectable score. If they can get this to double digits now, Honor is keeping them on the down low, so to speak. And I think that they have a really solid chance, and I believe that just maybe they can make this a 2-0 map score. But still, I do hold my, uh, well, hand on my heart, and I wonder, I wonder if they're going to be able to come through when it's needed. That they're not going to try and choke, or well, that they're not going to choke when it's needed the most, when they actually have to perform, when they have to show us that they can actually do it. Arkes trying to hunt towards that palm tree area so far. Not able to find anyone. Steps, however, here at the lower tunnel. Another smoke, of course, being set to 
possibly fake a a short take and it seems like Norris this time is looking more towards a mid to B. However, now as I say that the bomb will go towards short and Neo fails one of his flashes, falls back a little bit and now we will see indeed another short push that is moving up but the time luckily still this time a little bit more in favor of Norris as there's one minute left on the clock but now they might actually turn around again. They're a little bit indecisive. Utility to come out for the bomb. Falling back big time. As Anarkas will miss his shot, will be tagged up slightly. That should have been worse. And now they will turn on towards that B side. Still a player on towards the side who would say, no, he's actually in tunnels now. Falling back through the fire. Percy is going low. But now they turn around once more. Going towards A short. It's a little bit of a crazy round from Anoris. There's still a few players standing by. Zimsi with the first frag on towards the OS map will go for some more. He will be flashed out, but gets one. Zonica still on the side, gets one, but will be oh. traded out himself as well. A free on two, but stop as well being flashed. It's Flash Mania right here. They seem to be on sale. As it will only be Taz alive. A nade and a headshot to come in. And it will be 9 to 4. Team Secret doing a magnificent job so far and still staying on that single AWP. Something which, well, looking at the previous map, we still didn't expect, and I really expected possibly another AWP to come down on towards the B side, but yet on the B side, Norris hasn't really tried all too much, and I'm not really sure why. They're not really trying to contest, they're not really trying to sense if there are any players there. Without the AWP, at least you could maybe then uh, brute force your way through it, of course, you will have to face those players on the close range. And yeah. then again, with those AKs, you can still do it. Definitely, but, you know, it's still a risk that you have to take, you know. There's a solid chance if you do go for that close take, if someone's at an off angle, something you don't anticipate, then that is a nasty surprise waiting for you. What also is a bit of a nasty surprise for Radifaction is Crucia, and he gets the first frag of this round so far. And who knows, maybe, just maybe, this might be the chance, this might be the opportunity for, I don't know, well, Team Secret to actually get one or two more rounds. Oh, Flash is coming in, Percy will go down as a map, however, with a refrag. He'll be taken out as Taz will stand by, but now we do see a good round coming in from Anors. Finally trying that B side, and finally. it will work out quite well. A 2 on 4 most likely not to be retaken by the side of Team Secret, indeed. As Anarchist now goes down, only Synopsy will be alive, but not for much longer. The off comes in from Stomp, and that means the fifth round is in, but still, Team Secret, quite a decent lead at the end of this first half. A respectable advantage, even, I'd say. A respectable lead, and now they've got the chance to open it out to double digits. Would, of course, be excellent for them. Would mean they could actually, well, with relative ease, close out the first, or the second half. I think that the chance is there. However, we do have to keep in mind these two teams are closely matched. They're really surprising at times, too. They can come unexpectedly out of the corner and really run us over. But not always, you know. Sometimes it is the one team that just takes the upper hand that is undecidedly the better team. But right now here, I still don't dare say which one of the two it is. It all depends. And let's also see if Honoris is actually going to get the sixth round or if they're going to get those double digits in. Well, CMC is standing by with his incendiary. But so far, no real pressure from that T side. Of course, they will expend some utility to gain some map control and at least push back that CT side. But as we've seen before, they try to go for a long take. And whenever they get close, there will be a player standing by to use some utility. Red Faction close with the AUG. They move past him. They haven't spotted him out. And there's also the bomb coming in soon. Three players. He's still waiting. He's still waiting. The smoke is gone. He gets one. He gets two. He gets three as well. It's Red Faction with the play of the match. I dare to say. Five bullets in his magazine. Moves away. There's a player behind him. And now he has the AWP as well. 4K. No. Sami will eventually get one kill in return. As it's going to be Synopsy with the follow-up on towards the EO. A 1v4 remaining for the last player of Honoris. And this should seal the deal. This should be the 10 to 5 halftime in favor of that CG side. And indeed it will be. And our cast the last frag in and double digits. Honoris seemingly so strong on that previous map of overpass. But on Dust 2, I think they're letting you down, buddy. Oh, it's such a shame though. I expected better from them. I really thought that Dust 2 would be their map. That this would be perfect for them. That this would really be right up their alley. But it doesn't quite look like it. Team Secret end out this first half with a five-round advantage. Very well played by them. 
props to them, I'd even say. But I do hope that Honoris is going to come back, that uh, CT side is going to be better for them. Lovely spray down once again here in the replay by Radifaction. And, well, if a play like Radifaction is just on point, along with Synopsy, because look at his scores as well. It's frightening almost to see. And with that, you know, that might just get Team Secret the win before we know it. And there's only one player on the side of Norris with actually double digits. And that is, of course, to be Stomp. AWP God now going for that CT side. Should favor him a little bit more, but they need to get the economy going. They need to win this pistol as well to eventually to get there. But well, so far, Secret Strong have won every single pistol up until this round. They could still win this one as well. Seemingly need to go for a little bit of a mid play. We have the players going towards the lower tunnel and to still at the top of mid soon to come in. Xbox Smoke might actually be a little bit of an A-short peak as there will be a player close by. Also a player close at the door. It's actually two there on mid and there will be a peak coming in. Not really sure why Sami went for the push. He'll go down. The second one will be trying to contest but it is going to be Grutcha. And of course Neo to fall after. A 5 on 2 USB is being upgraded to by the side of Team Secret. And now they're just having to either aggress towards one side or wait for a mistake from Honoris. If they just go as a unit, Stomp can't stop him, you would dare to say. Spot it out as well. Now on towards the A-Ram. We'll try to tap around, but the close a call encounter will be coming in. He's running out of bullets. The last two frags come in in the exact same second. As we do see that 11 to 5. Team Secret still unbeaten in the pistols. Yes, and these pistols might show just how Team Secret will grab the advantage with these rounds every time and how now they'll kind of push this on, you know, Team Secret. They'll be able to get that buy-in now and Honoris, they'll just have to kind of play it on the more well, calm, more defensive. Of course, it is a classic move to go for the buy anyway nowadays in the second round, either side. But still, I believe, I do really believe that Team Secret now might be starting to win this, I'll have to admit. My Honoris uh, estimate was perhaps not the best. Well, usually when you say stuff like that, you're jinxing it for secrets, so maybe we'll turn around Reverse and psychology. moving in with that scout, but the problem is he's already lost one of his teammates. Russia went aggressive with the Deagle on towards short, which, well, eventually went in favor of Anarchas. And now there will be, of course, some utility to be thrown out of faction with a sloppy fight against Neo, but he will be traded out. A bomb also being spotted. And now you would actually expect possibly a rotate to come in, but look at Percy just tapping away on towards Sami, also dealing a significant amount of damage on for Stomp. And that means that the B side is open. It's going to be Team Secret to oh. most likely close it out, yet not so clean as Taz will get the frag on towards Anarchas. That's a beautiful one, the That's an AK drop, but it's going to be Synopsy trying to recover that as, uh, of course, also Percy is hunting for that weapon. Who doesn't want an upgrade? Who doesn't want a Deagle? Exactly. But anyhow, speaking of upgrades, Team Secret is going to upgrade their round count now. One more notch in their belt and four rounds removed from the map, but also the match win. And that would be the first match of the day going to Team Secret. Well, the odds were always in their favor. It's only increasing as a Norris is falling further and further behind. Storm still getting a few fights here. So flashbangs do fly high and he will be flashed out, but still will fall as well. Percy with a second frag of the round. In secret now on 12 to 5, not giving anything to their opponents, who are now on the Nico. They could, of course, still go for a slightly upgraded pistol, but of course, they're also wanting to have some utility the moment they can buy. And of course, the moment they can fight. And well, the moment, hopefully for them, will come soon, because otherwise I think they'll be in a world of trouble and Team Secret will be able to close it out rather quickly. Yes, I do believe saying that they're in a world of trouble is the best way to put it. Uh, there was a solid chance that well, Norris might not come back from this. The advantage of Team Secret is getting bigger and bigger, and the chances and odds for Honoris are getting worse and worse. Of course, at the top, those are the uh, Vi.gg match odds, not the uh, map odds, although I suspect that even the map odds are still quite dramatic right now and not really the best. No, Norris, of course, now also Nico. We would assume there to be a 13 to 5 to pop up anytime soon. I'm just a little bit scared for Team Secret that they might not play this all too cleanly because against the Ecos, against Pistols, they sometimes had a little bit of a struggle. 
At least now there isn't any armor on the side of Nor, so the aim punch will be quite significant. But they will now instantly catch a dig. Is Percy falling? That's a bomb dropped, and now there will be a flash as well. Tassel in this ramp, and he will try to fight. Yes, they're gonna have to push this now. Smoke is decent enough. Spray down attempt is there by Synopsy, but nothing really connects so far. It's just Team Secret that have this round and that ended it all well, started out with one man less. Now they can refrag. Neo taken out. Good spray down by Anarkas there. Gets a lucky headshot, I dare say, on Stomp. Synopsy continued. Taz though pushes out. Good positioning by him. And now it's a 2v3. They're going to have to stick this plant, but. Honoris is going to continue on them, and look at these upgraded weapons as well. The stolen AKs. That is a solid chance for them. SMF though peeks out well. Look at the spray down. Ooh. Window is not covered. And in the end though, it is Crutcher who can actually, or Grutcher even, who can actually clutch and get the defuse. That was, well, that was messy. I'd say that there were mistakes on both sides. You had the Taz flank coming in from mid there, but at the same time, the way that um, I believe it was SMF. SMF could peek out of window there and get the frags like that. He should have been punished for that way earlier, but in the end, Honoris does manage to, you know, fix fix it, I'd say, or make the best out of it, so to speak, and uh, get the round win. The question is, of course, is this one of the many round wins, or is this just a temporary setback for Team Secret? Well, they can still force it in. There will be two AKs, two Deagles, and AWP on towards Anarchas. Of course, looking for that opening frag as we do see the double AWP coming down from Norris. Something we didn't see from that uh, Team Secret side. And, well, will it come to haunt them? Because it could have maybe netted them a few more rounds, but of course, 10 to 5 scoreline on the CD side isn't too bad at all. Samey tagged up. There will be short pressure coming down from Team Secret, but it's SMF. And of course, Anerk has to fall soon. It's going to be a very hard round. Stomp even with a second for himself. And the bomb is just dropped right there on short. It's going to be a terrible round. That's when the faction is the sole member alive with the Deagle in hand. Will be wall banked, and apparently they can smell him out. And that will be that seventh round. Honor is now slowly closing the gap. And of course, there will be a full eco coming down from Team Secret in this round, which doesn't really help you all too well. That full eco, that really hurt Team Secret, and I mm -hmm. think they're now a little bit mentally boomed. Just a little bit mentally uh, bummed out, I guess, is also a good way to put it. You know, we do have the cast of Clash, but maybe the cast of Curse is a real thing as well with me. Oh, it's been there always. Yeah, with me saying like, okay, Team Secret, uh, you know, they've probably got this in the pocket now, but then... Surprise, surprise. They've lost two rounds so far. They've, uh, they're starting to slowly but surely give away the advantage that they had. And there are still five rounds, though. It is not going to go that swimmingly in this eco, probably. Synopsy might get a fragger if he gets lucky somehow. And he does! He takes out Neo. That's uh, an org upgrade for him as well. Now Sabi, though, coming from... Over yonder here, coming from the CT side, although the intel is there. Oh, that nade, nade coming into backside. Tinopsy will get the kill first on towards Taz, however. It's Ecomania, as it's going to be a four on three, but a bomb. It still has to go through tunnels, and it's taking so incredibly long. But unfortunately, for the side of Honoris, there's no player actually trying to contest from that area. 2 HP on towards Amy will not really help him as he now tries to peek in, but he will fall through the smoke by Red Affection. A 4 on 2 situation, two weapons being gained by the side of Team Secret. But, well, I think it might be advisable if they play close by with those pistols as well to be able to pick up those weapons if the players do fall. Anarchist going aggressive. Molly taking down Red Affection. That is one of those weapons gone. And as Tom now takes down SMF in the flank, they've already called the safe. That could have actually worked out if they did come in in time. Yeah, that was uh, close there for a moment, honestly, but it is what it is. You can see uh, the weapons being recovered now. Oh, yeah, I was worried for a moment that Anarchus wasn't going to pick up a second weapon no. and that it was just going He's to He's not run. crazy. No, but you never know. Honestly, things, uh, things, can go, things can get a little bit crazy. Although, of course, crazy is a team in the uh, Group C bracket, so we'll be seeing those later on in the, in the week. In two days. In two days, even, yes. Well... So far, it seems like both these teams are really good at Ecos. And Absolutely. that means that now Honoris is back where they started. And that is on a, well, of course, buy. But is it a good buy? Well, decent enough. And, of course, Team Secret will now have a full buy as well after winning an Eco. This really propels your economy. Double ADVP against, of course, the single one of Anarchist. 
who has gone for a glass cannon. Not having enough money to at least buy some armor with it, but has some utility to help out his team, as this nade will deal a significant portion of damage. They will move through the molly as well. Gretcha will have to fall back as he will be smoked out, but Daz still in the pit area. How is he not being killed? Synopsy most likely fully flash will be taken down. Grudge with a second as well. As it was a two-man line holding over that pit. And now Stomp with a double kill, leaving only Anarchist alive, taking a nade to his side. And then dropping the bomb, he's like, oh, whatever, guys. It's okay. It's done. It's done. He's he just trying to hold off that possible push from his left. But then the moment he peeks away, there will be a player. A one, a two, a one, two, yeah. three. Save me with the frag. And an eighth round for Norris is going to be back and forth. Just like I whipped my hair at the metal concert. Oh, wow. Nice. Still, though, I'm worried. Uh, something that's less nice is the fact that, you know, Norris, they now are maybe doing this sort of uh, comeback maneuver. If they keep this up now, before you know it, they'll be on double digits, and Team Secret will kind of be struggling behind. You can see, though, they try to make the best out of it. Would you call this a force or a half-buy? It's a force because they spent all their money, as we now see Stomp getting the opening kill while being slightly flashed. Ever so slightly as he's fallen back towards the cross corner. No pressure from short, so he's not too worried. He'll throw in the smoke just to delay a little bit more, and. Give Secret also a little bit of time to breathe. They're standing by with their cross smokes and, well, I'm curious to see what they can make of it as, of course, there's still that AWP. There's still a player on side as well and there's another player on towards short. The nade comes in, deals some damage. Percy trying to sneak through and Kikaboo. He's trying to get a kill, but so far he's not really succeeding as he goes down towards Tom Taz now with a little bit of a spray. Deals some damage. SMF now takes down the AWP player on the side of Honoris and with utility in hand, Two players will fall on the side of Team Secret, leaving four alive for Norris. Red Faction will get one, but needs to get two more. It's going to be a little bit of an awkward scuffle as, well, he's stepping around, but so far, it's not really working. Of course, Red Faction has shown that he has quite the powerful one tap, but now goes to this engagement and does not stand much of a chance as Neo gets his frag, and with that, Honoris get their ninth round, now getting dangerously close to double digits, especially with Team Secret's probable economy right now. You can pretty much expect them to save on this. There's not really much chance for anything else, and Honoris should be having a relatively effortless round coming up, where they just, you know, should be able to get a few frags, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and not much more than that, not much uh, resistance. Well, we do see another eco coming in from Team Secret, and well, last time around, the B-side worked out well. Nades are coming in from the side of Norris, but they're not dealing any damage. Just a little bit of a delay. As we do see possibly a mid-take to come out from Team Secret. I would love to see them just go for another B-take. Just go wild. It worked out well the last time around. And now they're just trying to force down mid where there is a player with an AWP, but he's fallen back towards CT. Going possibly for another aggressive peek as Tom is standing by. He, of course, gets the first one. Will have support from a Riper to his right. It's going to be Sami as well with a frag test. Also stepping away. That's a clean round. Coming in from Honoras. Building their economy. Having a rebuy at the ready when they need to. And, well, if they win another round, they might have two rebuys standing by. Who knows if those two rebuys could actually change it up, make the difference, get them very, very close to a... Uh, well, equal footing, I'd say. It all depends on how the next round is going to go as well. Once again, look at how swiftly and how clean this was all played out. Frags for everybody. And uh, double digits for Honoris as well. Well, there will be a lot of flashes going out towards that long area. They will get some control there. There's a player close by. There is also one and again on the ramp. Stomp will get a kill, but Taz will fall. Gracha has also gone low, and I'm not really sure how this actually worked in favor of Team Secret, just muscling their way through. Now going for the plan, but of course there will be some mollies coming down as Gracha takes that red faction on his cross. Bomb now to fall as and we will see Anarka seeing some feet. There will be Sami getting the frag, a 4 on 2 in favor of Honoris, but the damage has been dealt. Problem is there is no utility on the D side players trying to get those kills in, but SMF will choke it out. And only Percy's alive in the 1v3.
Sending by, scared of a possible flank, but they're all coming from that short area. Nades to fly in, of course, a smoke. And that bomb isn't planted for Burst. Yes, he's now gotten the first frag, has to move in. It will be stuck, of course, with the support for oh. Omstar, but it will oh, be the Ninja Defuse once more. Percy, a triple kill is nice and all, but you have to win the round as well. As now Neo will save that AWP, 11th round for Norris. And once more, back to the drawing boards for Team Secret. Well, they can buy, yet the utility will be lacking. And the question is, are they going to just commit to making the best out of it anyway, or is it just going to be a sort of, well, we'll upgrade a few pistols, that's about it. Mm. Ooh, that's they're buying around that M4 a little yeah. bit, of course. They have some money to spare, so it is, is of course, a pistol armor with a scout for the side of Red Faction, not going on towards Anarchist who's been, well, pretty decent with the AWP. But right now, they're just hoping to deal some damage. Double up again from Norris, buying in happily through this round and hoping to get some things done with their utility early on. Of course, their nades quite often used. And, oh, this is a nice tech. They're just uh, dancing around and boosting here in towards the tunnels. But the problem is, Sami now gets the first kill towards Red Faction, who came in a little bit later. Scout to be picked up by one of his teammates, most likely soon. Uh, Same, he's still holding this angle. Is there a molly? Yes, Percy can, of course, burn this player away. As first the smoke will be popped, that will give them some room to work with. There is another player close by, Nate, to come in. That will deal some damage. And there is that molly we were talking about. Sami now to be burned away, but Neo fleshed out. Still close by, Tess takes down Anarchist. Sami still alive, and he will get another frag and another. As only Percy is alive in a 1v4, trying to tap away. Lucky Hatchet could come in, but he's only on towards four bullets. Waiting for a flashback is Sabi. And that is a 4k for him. And a 12th round for Norris. Only one to split these teams. But we will see a buy from the team secret side. Just imagine, right, if Norris now gets it to a, uh, well, map. And, I, well, I suppose not quite yet a match point for them, but a map point and before you know it, you know, we'll have this sort of overtime situation popping right on up again. And the odds were up on the screen there for a moment on v.gg or vi.gg. Will it be overtime? I'd say that free. There you know. is a good chance as Red Faction is now moving through, popping out that upper at least. Seeing the bullet fly by will oh. not get a kill. Sami also very competent as we already saw Stomp excelling that weapon. So close by there is Neo going for the spray down. Will only get one. And the problem is, Sami being in CT means he's not able to cover off this side with his teammate. Still a player on two words short, almost a little bit of a team damage coming in. And Percy, will he get a frag? That is one, two, maybe three. It will be Sami for the refrag. And it's slipping through the fingers of the side of Hon Norris. And well, I think they're just hurt. They're hurt right now because they can rebuy where they were expecting to equalize the score. And Team Secret so far has been doing well, but it's slipping away right now. Look at it this way. They just hurt emotionally, not financially. Oh. That's worth I'm something, cry. right? Yeah. Really, though, that makes it round number, oh well, numero 14 for Team Secret. And with that now, they have to just put down a very good game. They have to just play excellently if they want to try and finish this off soon enough. Otherwise, it's going to be an Oris that are going to get closer and closer again and that are going to be on the heels of Team Secret, I think is the best way to put it. Indeed, it's going to be Honoris. Hopefully going maybe a little bit more aggressive, trying to force some issues towards Team Secret. And, well, so far Team Secret has been rather close, so Utility could, of course, also work in their favor if it is being dished out accordingly. Two Ops once more coming in. Little boost towards this short area, but Gracha is behind it with that smoke. Synopsy will fall back as, of course, he will be mollied off. And now we do wait for that first frag. So far, it seems like Secret is maybe going for a little bit of a B play. From players standing by in tunnel, and he might actually get a frag as they are pushing. Two men coming in from Honoris. Has to get it with his mate as Red Faction falling. An opening kill in favor of the CT side, and this might actually be another round for them. 
Trying to equalize the score slowly, but steadily. They still need to win two more. But looking at the economy of Steam Secret, they would really need to have a bomb plant to be able to buy decently in towards the next round. SMF moving up. Smokes are being dished out, but there's a player moving in. It's Grutcha. Of course, a strong driver getting it first, getting a oh, triple wow. kill as well. And as the bomb dropped, only Simopsy alive in a 1v4. He will get the first frag, and then, well, I think he's going south as Stomp indeed moves in with the AWP. 13 rounds for Endorus, and we're just back to where we started just a round before. It's just insanity almost there. That was a lovely, lovely hold again. You can see it here coming in from Grutcher, of course. He goes, he spots the first, the second, and the third. And they're a clean slate, so to speak. Team Secret getting, you know, close to a map point, and of course for them a match point. But Honor is right on their heels. Before you know it, they'll be forcing it to overtime again or something like that. The odds for overtime are... Well, seemingly favoring that overtime. So They're getting, we, you know, lower and lower. Well, better and better every time. Indeed. Meanwhile, we do just see that normal buy coming in once more from Team Secret. At least they have what they need. But is it going to be enough? Nades being dished out, not really doing any damage. Grutcha, of course, just playing around at A side as we always see him do. And he's that anchor that I think every team desires. As mollies are now being exchanged. Team Secret trying to get short control, most likely to storm through eventually. And I would recommend them to go for a full-on five-man push. Just go through this position, try to get as close as possible, try to force out Stomp, who's now fallen back. With his AWP, he will get Anarchist again. No flashbang, and I'm a little bit worried why they don't use that utility to get those fights in. Will be possibly a mid to be coming out from Synopsy, but he will go down to Sami as well. That AWP standing on the B side, uncontested from the tunnel area. But again, we will go for a little cheeky fight. Not really winning it, and now they will be going back towards the A side as well. SMF going down to Taz. Percy with one frag in return, but that's just Stomp going down. With 30 seconds left, they still need to get a few kills in, and Red Infection tries to tap away. He gets one. It is all ca caught out in the open in a 1v2. Sami moving in in another round for Anars, equalizing the score. Do you see where this is heading? Overtime? Overtime, indeed. Oh, maybe, maybe just maybe, if I, if I can be quick enough. <laughs> Although I kind of doubt it at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. You, you, you want to bet for overtime right now on Fido GG? Yeah, why not? Well, I'm not but sure. It's, I just see it happening now, you know? This is like you, you have a hunch. Yeah, at You're this saying, point, well, it's like a 50-50. Either Honoris now streaks together another two rounds, or we'll go to overtime because Team Secret is really good at the Ecos. Well, so far we do see a little bit of a split buy coming in from Team Secret, hoping to at least have the loss bonus count towards the next buy in, of course, the following round. Also banking on dealing enough damage to maybe, just very maybe, Getting a round here as well. Sami with the AWP, of course, standing by on towards the B side. Flash is coming in. He still has a nade. He will throw it out and will deal some damage. Not too much as they've already moved by. Sami standing by, losing Neo. No scope, not coming in. The flashback is good. But the kills from the side of Team Secret are just a little bit better. No players coming through that short area. So a player will soon go for a flank again. It's 5v3 and Secret is doing the work. Taz is standing by, he's waiting for the rest of his team, the utility, to fly in. And then he will go for that push. It is almost a little bit of a desperation attempt as they don't have a lot of money. Losing this round really hurt them in the following and would give a chance towards the side of Team Secret to close things out as time is now ticking out. They don't have a chance anymore and I think they're just going for some exit frags trying to hurt the side of Team Secret but they're hurting themselves. And he's stomp alive and he will eventually survive, it seems, until Synopsy will move in. And, well, that's another split by almost Eco win for Team Secret. And they're just strong going towards B. It seems like Honoris is a little bit choking once all those flashes fly in. I think, honestly, there is still a very solid potential for Honoris. If they put down a somewhat decent buy, I think they might still have this. Trust me. All right, I'm trying to trust you, but I'm... Um Believing in a team secret. You believe win. in your own. You, you also believe there, in your there own. There is still a good buy. Norris has this, those two AWPs. They have the utility as well. But will it be enough? There's also an That's AWP the main coming question. in from Anarchist as they are trying to move 
towards a long S stomp. That gets the first frag in. That is once more the upper from the side of the Norse. At least the main upper being uncontested as no utility comes in. Now there will be a flashbang and then Stomp Indio will I be see. standing by. And there are no skills coming in. A lovely spray down from Taz with SMF being able to do something in return. Still having a 1v3 to clutch and well Stomp is alive. He's standing by throwing in the name as well. Dealing some additional damage. Being at the car being taken down. It's now a 1v2. SMF has a chance. A player will come in his back, but Neo, of course, shouldn't be pushing as long as SMF doesn't push either. One minute left on the clock. They're waiting. Clutch of the Finding century. their time. And this would be a no, crazy no ace clutch. It's going to be SMF flashing towards mid. Now getting another kill. 1v1. What? One shot could seal the deal for either of these parties. Oh, that's a little bit of a console. Uh, Sami is uh, trying to play it out against SMF. That AK needs one headshot. Sami. Even a pistol shot would do it. And they're going to face off each other right here on short. Sami so far has been strong. Will he do it? No, he won't. It's SMF H clutch. Oh, my God. And the win, God. 14 secret, 16 to 14 in their favor. 2 0 win. And the Norris has choked it out on the last round, giving a 1v5 clutch to the favor of Team Secret. And. I think this will hurt him for years to come. Those, I would have never, I would have never expected him to actually get that. Those odds were terribly not looking in his favor. That was so, so close. He would have literally only had to have one shot against him and that would have been it. It would have been over for him. And yet here we are. It is team secret now. They finish it out with a 2-0 map score. Clean, well, I, 